So with the first two finals going to players from Thailand and from China, this next match will decide whether all five titles go to players from five different nations because it's no longer possible for Denmark to win two titles, but it is possible for Thailand because they're involved in the women's doubles. Kitty Harakon and Prajongjai from Thailand up against Araki and Matsuda from Japan. Well, as far as the women's doubles draw is concerned, wonderful situation at quarter-final stage. Eight different nations involved. We also had that in the men's singles. Five seeds still left in at quarter-final stage. Three seeds by semi-finals. And Araki and Masuda putting out the number one seeds. Uh, Gabriela and Stephanie Stoyeva. And in the bottom half of the draw, the player we've just seen win the mixed doubles, Du Hue and Zhu Ya, were beaten by the pair from Thailand, who lost in the final of this event last year. Kitty Harakan and Prajongjai. Uh, here come the Japanese pair. Akane Harakei and Oi Masuda. Oi Masuda is the shorter of the two players. And here, the beaten finalist from a year ago. Chong Kong Pan. Kitty Harakan and Rawinda Prajongjai. Oh, incredible journey by this Japanese pair because this is only their fifth tournament together. Only second time they've contested a Grand Prix Gold tournament. And here they are in the final. So it's not surprising that this is the first ever meeting between the two pairs, because they simply haven't been playing at this level. Whereas Kitty Harakan and Prajongjai, well, they've been in three Grand Prix Gold tournament finals winning one of them. That was the Malaysian Masters earlier this year. It was their third final on their first title in Malaysia, in Cebu. Better shut up. You sorry? Well, from you start? Scotland is our umpire for this one. Daniel Schmidt from Switzerland is the service judge. Well, as far as the Japanese pair are concerned, both still very young. Both 21 years of age. Akane Araki, born in Saitama. Saitama Prefecture, which is part of the greater Tokyo area. She's a tall athlete, 176, that's five foot nine and a half. Whereas Aoi Matsuda, born in the port city of Osaka. So they have won one title as a pair from their four previous tournaments together, and that was the Russian Grand Prix. And there, their set of results. Two seeds they've beaten. Number three seeds, Rugor and Tursen of Denmark in the second round. And then in the semi-final yesterday, as I was saying a moment ago, beat the number one seeds, uh, Gabriela and Stephanie Stoeva of Bulgaria. Just 29 minutes for their opening match. 
In fact, their semi-final yesterday was only 35 minutes. So to the Thailand pair, Chong Kong Ban, Kitty Harakun, 24 years of age, born in the ancient city of Chiang Mai in northern Thailand. Down one place in the world ranking, the Thailand pair this week down to number 11. They have been as high as nine. Is Arawinda Prajong Jai, born in Bangkok. She, like her partner, is 24 years of age. So the second consecutive year in the final here. Last year lost the final to Chen Ching Cheng and Xia Yi Fan. Well, when you look at their results so far in this year's tournament, look at that for the first three rounds. Not a match over 30 Ladies minutes. Semi-final was a bit longer, 41 Tan minutes, Tan when they beat the silver medalists Tan from Tan last year's Thailand. World Junior Championships. And on my left, Oi Matsudo and Akina Akai, Japan. Akina Akai, serving to Yong Hong Fan Kitikaku. Level, play. One, love. Love. Yeah, good pressure by Three, the Japanese love. pair. Well, a Japanese pair has won the Bitburger Grand Prix gold before. We have to go back six years to 2011 when. Mizuki Fuji and Oreka Kagiwa won. They went on a year later to win the Olympic silver medal. Oh! Sorry, it's over. There's been a One, steady progression three. as far as results <laughs> here at the Bitburger Grand Prix Gold are concerned from. Kitty Harakan and Prajong Jai. And because two years ago they were semi finalists last year, as I say, they were beaten in the final. So the natural progression suggests that they should win this year. But life isn't like that, is it? Two, three. Especially when you've got very good opponents like this young Japanese pair. Service over. Two, four. <laughs> Service over. Three, four. Oh, that's a good interception. Oh! And then nobody covering that one. Four, all. Hey. Yes, change. And I hadn't really known an awful lot about Akane Arachne, Araki. I heard of her sister, her younger sister, a couple of years ago. Oh. One the bronze medal. Oh, service fault called. Service over. Five, four. Hey, Younger sister won a bronze medal at the World Junior Championships and the Asian Junior Championships. Moi Araki. Hey. 
Oh, good defense. Service over. Five all. Ah. 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 Service over. That came off the frame as a racket. Six. Five. Well, I was saying the Japanese pair have only played one five. previous Grand Prix gold event to this, and that was this year's Chinese Taipei. Lost to the pair that eventually lost in the final. Kim Hei Ren and Yu Hei Won. Service over. Six, seven. Now, it's a lovely return of serve. serve He's a over. tall athlete for a Japanese player. Eight, six. And stretching ah. forward, she can play lovely little ah. angled shots like that. Oh! Service over. Seven, eight. Oh, good smash. All set up by Rawinda Prajongjai. Absolutely in the right place at the right time. Nine, eight. Yeah, well left. Service over. Nine, all. Yeah, it's a good flick serve. Ten, nine. Nine. Yeah, it's landed Eleven, in. Nine, enter ball. <coughs> On a run of three straight points. The number two seeds, Kitty Harakan and Prajongjai. the advantage at the mid-game interval. Oh yes, it was in. Clearly in. Seven minutes to the mid-game interval. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. <laughs> So this Thailand pair, having already won a Grand Prix gold title this year, the Malaysian Masters, are actually trying to become the second women's doubles pair 11, this year to win nine. a second Grand Prix gold title. Ah, World ah. champions Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan have already won two, Thailand Masters and Swiss. Ah! 
for the silver. 10, 11. Okay, play. Oh, that's lovely. Wonderful shot from Kitty Harakan. She was trying to pressurise again. Kitty Tarakan. 11 12. There's the drive defence, immediately moves forward to the net. I like the idea. Play. Judgment. Service over. 13 11. Hey. Hey. Oh, that's a very nice serve. 14 Skimmed 11. over the net. Nine of the last twelve points. Oh, that's nice too. Sixteen, eleven. Good interception from Akane Araki. Twelve sixteen. Service over. More hands serve, letting her down. Seventeen twelve. Very rare nowadays that you see players. In doubles, serving forehand. Most players serve with the backhand action. Yeah, dreadfully short. Got what it deserved. Fourteen eighteen. Play. Ah. Ah. Oh, that's landed in. That's a lovely shot. 
deep into that backhand corner. 15-18. Four straight points from 12-18 down, and all of a sudden it's believable again that they can win. Ah. That's a nice interception, though, from Rawinda Prajongjoy. 19-16. by the Japanese pair. Opportunities. 20. Game point 17. towards the left hip. Great placement. 18, oh, she looked to me as if she was in a bit of pain there. Matsuda. A bit of a grimace on her face after that rally. Yeah, she has hurt herself, I think. Her partner hit her on the hand. Maybe a bit of a blood injury there. And the tournament referee again, he's got a busy day. David Chang, and his medic. Oh no, it's not, I don't think it is a blood injury, but it's certainly. You can see some bruising coming out already. Oh, very unfortunate this has happened at a game point opportunity. Not that you plan these things. Oh, there is blood there. So, 18, one game 20. point has been saved. Well, there's still another two game points for the number two seeds from Thailand. Ah! 
That's gone wide. Two game points have come and gone. 19, 20. Yeah. Game. Third game point converted. 21 19 for last year's beaten finalists. First game won by a young home fan, Kid Kelly Hill, in Rowinda. 19 minutes for the opening game. 19. Umpire confirms that scoreline of 21 19 for Kitty Tarakun and Prajong Jai. Second game, love all, play. So one game to the good, the number two seeds, Kitit Narakun and Prajong Jai. Mm, and a good start. Very first rally into the second game. Araki and Natsuda. Well, I think they need to try and get forward in court a little bit more. We've got nobody at the net area, and when the pair from Thailand Change. are dominating the front of the court, they do look very, very impressive. To love. Like that. Nice variation in pace. Oh. And again. Japanese pair have got to force their opponents to defend. Yeah, now that's a lovely return of serve from Matsuda. One, three. Just mistimed that. Service over. Two, four. Smash on the tour of the two. Four, two. Araki. Ah. Yeah, that's the problem Five, when she comes two. forward. Jong Jai. Okay. 
Well, there's problems again with the hand. This is when it happened. Clout. Yeah, that would have hurt. Yeah, grimace on the face. And it was right at the end of the opening game that that incident happened, and I can understand uh, that that will be very painful. And she's got a little plaster on there. I'm not sure how long that will last with the perspiration. She may be saying, I'm struggling to hold the racket. Maybe the plaster isn't helping with the grip on the racket. I did have a nasty thought then that if the bone is badly damaged, then she wouldn't be able to grab the racket properly anyway, in which case she'd have to forfeit this match withdraw from the final and that would be tragic biggest match of their lives without any shadow of a doubt of course they've won a title the a Russian Grand Prix but the Grand Prix gold is a tier higher than the Grand Prix so it's clearly the biggest match of their young lives and if she wasn't able to continue that would be tragedy for her Uh, that's nice from Kitty Parakan. Six, two. Look at that. Not only the technical ability to play that shot, but also the vision to see that's where the gap was. Good rally. Oh, ended with a wonderful disguised drop shot. Oh, could you? Seven, two. That's just delightful. Right in between the two Japanese players, so both thinking they've got to go for it. Just wide. Number two seeds beginning to impose their dominance here. The Japanese pair need to be awfully careful. Got to try and break this run, and that's not helping their cause. Nine, two. Brilliant. Good smashes. Work the rally until you can get your net player involved. And then the delightful change of pace from Kitty Harakan. Service errors, that's one apiece now. So, over. so to the mid-game interval. interval. With an eight-point advantage.
20 seconds. 20 seconds. Eleven, three, play. Well, what can the Japanese pair do to turn this around? Well, because time is three. fast running out. Well, they need a little run of points right now, do the Japanese pair. Otherwise, I suspect this second game is just going to run away from them. Well, it's not to be. Bit of a tangle. Five fourteen. Hey. Yeah, too much pressure Service from the over. return of serve. Well, they're looking very 16, impressive at the moment. Five. They look at class above their opponents. <laughs> ah. Oh, that was a double hit, I think. Well, clear from Thailand, won the point anyway. Three points away from a third title this year. Not only the Malaysian Masters, they also won gold at the Southeast Asian Games. Ah! Yeah, well, that's a nice well. change of pace. They needed to do that a little earlier in the match. Points away from a second Grand Prix gold title. Second this year. Match point opportunities. 20. Match point six. That's gone wide. 21 19 21 6 in just 33 minutes. And for Kitty Harakan and Prajongjai. 
the Bitburger Grand Prix gold title a year after being beaten in the final. Well, you have to feel for Araki and uh, Matsuda. Because they really weren't in the match in the second game. Injury, I think, contributed. Well, they were most definitely beaten by the better pair today. Of course... Second title of the year for the pair from Thailand. Second women's doubles pair to achieve that. Alongside Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan from China. It's a great achievement by this young Thai pair. Sixth career title in total. Third this year. 21-19, 21-6. Oh, 
wunderbaren Applaus von Ihnen. Ich finde das ganz toll, dass Sie die Sportler so unterstützen, hier, meine Damen und Herren. Ich bin richtig gut im Sport, aber das ist sehr gut. Ist das okay? Ich bin richtig gut im Sport. So a uh, one-sided second game in that women's doubles final. But uh, well-deserved champions, Kitty Harakun and Prajong Jai. So next up is men's singles and two players appearing in their first ever Grand Prix Gold tournament final. Denmark's Rasmus uh, Gemke and the number four seed, Shu Jen Ho. Jin Hao from Chinese Taipei coming through the bottom half of the draw. Now, as I was saying, with the women's doubles here in the men's singles at quarterfinal stage, eight different nations are represented in the eight spots. That really is magnificent, isn't it? And of course, that mean, meant that we had four different nations represented at semi-final stage, and that's only the second time this year